Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you a puzzle that I'm bringing to you with some trepidation. A um, couple of reasons for that. First of all, um, this is a puzzle by Zegres, and I love Zegres as a setter, but Zegres has grown into a setter who does a lot of weird tricks. And uh, I was warned by Zegres that this one could be a little bit. Um, challenging and challenging from Zegres often means that I'm going to fail. So yay. Um, there's been a few puzzles by Zegres I've tried to record in the past and have not been able to do. And uh, to the point where while I will sometimes do a, a scripted solve or something of a puzzle um, or attempt a re-record of a puzzle that I failed at once I've sort of get an idea of how to do it, I just could not wrap my head around them. So here's hoping this is not one of them. Um, the other reason some trepidation is my queue is looking very empty. So I'm about to have to start hunting and uh, digging out puzzles from uh, packs or something unless people send things through. At the moment, I'm, I do record in advance. I've got a few days uh, to go, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, let's have a look at this puzzle. Um, I'm using the link that Zegres has sent me, um, rather than resetting this puzzle, um, I've been assured that solution checking is built into this one, so that's all good. So, um, in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Normal Sudoku rules. We've then got these blue dots in the grid. Now, these blue dots are difference dots, but we don't know what the difference um, of these dots is except for the fact that a difference dot in a box will have a value of whatever is in the gray cell in this box. So let's say that this was a four, then these different, and that's actually, I can see that's automatically broken. But if this was a, let's put something in that could work. If this is a three, then these difference dots would have a difference value of three. So we know that this would be three different from this, and this would be three different from this. So we could go six and nine, and that would be a perfectly valid way of resolving that different stop. Um, that's how that works. Um, I think that's all I need to know to get started. Um, I need to know a lot more to get finished. So let's give this a shot. Links and everything, of course, are below. Same as always. Right. Where do I want to start? Now, a run of three and I've got a lot of them. Now, I was saying here before, if this was four, and I noticed this while I was doing it, four would go to eight, and then eight would have to go, well, eight would have to go to 12. So that's not going to work. So these ones can't be four. They have to be one, two, or three. Now, what about here? If this was a four, and I'm going to use this to visualize because... Um, that way you can see what I'm thinking. If this was a four, I could go one, five, nine. So these, this is from one, two, three, or four. I couldn't do five because then these would have to be one, six, and 11, and that's not going to work. And the same is true here, I think. Ah, except these are more restricted because I've got two of them in the box. So while a four here would make this one, five, nine, I'd have to put two 159s in the box, and that's not going to work. So these are from 1, 2, and 3. Now, if this is a 4 difference, and this is 159, what would these be? These would be 2, 6, and 3, 7, 1, 5, 9, 4, 8. That works. That's all good. But we can tell some stuff about this, because if this is 1, this is 2, and this is three. If this is two, this is four, and this is six. And if this is three, this is six, and this is nine. And it's the same here, two, four, six, and three, six, nine. Hmm. Okay. So how do we narrow that down? Hmm. 
if this is four with one five nine across the top, these can't be three anymore. So these would be one two. And that's broken. If this is four with one five nine, these can't be three six nine because I've got a nine up here. So this would be four with one, yeah, four with one five nine. These can't have nine, so these would be two three. Uh, one, two, three, and two, four, six, and I'd have two fours in the row. This can't be four. So now I've got a one, two, three in the row. So these can't be two, which means these can't be one. This is a one. Well, that's progress. And these not being able to be one means those can't be three. So this is two, four, six, or three, six, which means there's a six in there. And same over here. Now, these are all singles. But that's restricted. I can't use 6, 7, 8 or 7, 8, 9 in here. These have to stay below 6. And I can't use a 1. So it's 2, 3, 4 or 3, 4, 5. So it's 2, 3, 4 or 3, 4, 5. So this is a 3 or 4 with 2, 3, four, five in there, but that's not restricted. Hang on. But these, where am I going to put six, seven, eight, nine now? Because I can't put them up here. And if I put one there, what am I going to put on the other dot? Because I oh know I could do five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine would work. Yeah, that would work. But six has to go in one of those two spots. And so this will have five or seven in there. Huh. Okay. I can't see that I'm going to get anything from these, so it's got to be these. Which one will be more restricted? Well, that can't be a four and that can't be a six. And these have to be the middle digits in runs. So surely, whereas over here, I can't put a one in there, but I could start a run with a one and then put anything in there. Well, I can't put a six there. Well, that can't be four or six. That's got to be restricted. Whereas here, this can't be a six, but it could be any other middling digit. So maybe that cell is what I need to pay attention to. So this box. Now, if this is one, I've got two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven. Oh, that's a lot of options. Okay. The most restricted is three. So what are the options for three? So what are the options for three? So I could do, I'm going to use this box as listing options. So one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. And I can't start go up from four because four would then jump to seven and then would jump to 10 and that just doesn't work. So one, four, seven, two, five, eight, or three, six, nine. So if this is a, and I can't use three, six, nine. So if this is a three, these are one, four, seven, and two, five, eight, which means this is a six and this is a nine because I can't put six there for multiple reasons. So one, four, seven, which would make that four and that five. Because four can't go there. So it's one, four, seven, two, five, eight. 
This is all based on the fact of this being three, which makes this two, which makes this four. If this is two, this is four, and neither of those can be four, and I need to put a four in the middle. Hang on, is that right? I've made so many mistakes on my channel, I don't want to do that again. If this is three, yeah, one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. They're the only, po oh, which of course, uh, they're the keypad variants. So if you look at your numeric keypad or the, um, on the CTC app and look at it, um, a mod three is literally just running up your keypad. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. I should have remembered that. So, and your middle row, four, five, and six have to be in the middle of a, of a run. So these would have to be four, five, or six. Now, this can't be four, and I can't use three, six, nine. So I'd need to put four or five into those if this is three. Now, I can, can't put four there, so four would have to go there, but this is three, so this is two, which makes this four, and that doesn't work. So this cannot be three. That was a very long-winded way of doing that. So, yay. Now, the options for two, this is where I can start looking at parity, maybe? No. So if this is two, I don't think this could be two. And that's just looking at it from a parity perspective. Remember I did an entire parity puzzle pack recently? So if these are two, these all have to have, these would be, um, uh, whichever the run would be, would be the same parity because you go, uh, let's look at it. It'd be one, three, five, all odd, two, four, six, all even, three, five, seven, four, six, eight, or five, seven, nine. They're your possibilities. But either way you look at it, you've got even or odd. So without even looking at the values, if this is two, I can't make them all odd or I'd have just way too many odds in the box. So one of them would have to be even. If it's two, I can't use two, four, six because I've used two in the box. So it's four, six, eight. So one of these would have to be four, six, eight, but I can't put six in either of those cells. So this can't be two, that's a one. That is absolutely insane. So that is not a one. And I've got two, three pairs in these. So this is now two or three, but this being a one gives me so many options. Cause now I can go two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. Oh, crikey. It doesn't even tell me much about ones. It does over here. One is in one of those four. But I could hide the one off the line. Six is in one of those, which I've had for a while. Actually, six is also in one of those. Wait. I'm going to get rid of these ones, but those six thing might be interesting. So if this is six, this is seven, this is eight, six, seven, eight, six, five, four, six, five, four. Okay, over here is wide open. What about here? This is six. I can't go up. Actually, I can't go up on either of them because six, eight, ten, six, eight, ten, six, nine, twelve, six, nine, twelve. So it'd have to go down. So if six is on a dot, these would have to go down. And this would be six, four, two, if it's two, which doesn't work. And if it's three, it would be six, three. Wait, what? Hey, so 
if six if six is on a dot, it can't go up with a two or a three value. And if it goes down, if it goes down with a difference of two, it's six, four, two, and I've got two twos. And this is the same on either of these. And if it goes down by three, it's six, three, and I've duplicated the three. Neither of these can be sixes, no matter what that value is. This is a six. Just take six out of both of those and puts a six in there, which means this is five or seven, and this is four or eight. Now, what the heck has that done? Let's put six down here somewhere. Yeehaw. This is a difference of four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't be nine. It can't be eight either. Nine would need mean these would be one and ten, which is not going to work. Eight means one and nine, and I don't have a one. So this is four, five, six, or seven. Okay, that's cool. Actually, this is more restricted now, isn't it? Oh, not really. Because if this goes down, 654, this is 789. Actually, it might be restricted. If this goes down, 654, I can't use 23. So these would be 23, and this would be 789 with 8 in the middle. If this goes up, 678. Then... I can't use nine, but I could use two, three, four, or three, four, five. So two, three, so this is three, four, or eight. What about over here? Well, it's the same parody trick. This can't be two, because if this is two, either these are all odd, at which point I've got six odds in in the box and that's not going to work or one of them is even which means it's four six eight and i don't have a six this is three this is two this is three the two makes this four and six which makes this six and nine that is clever now with the three difference what are my options? Four. What are my options? Let's do this again. So one, three, dead. No, sorry. It's one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. And that's it. Because that's it. So one of these is one, four, seven. And one of these is two, five, eight, because I can't use three, six, nine. So the that's a nine. So one, four, seven. So the middle digits are four or five, and that's a four. So that's the five, that's the four. So these are one and seven, and these are two and eight. Okay. Well, the two here gives me that's an eight and that's a two. And the one here gives me that's a seven and that's a one. And the four here means this is an eight, so this is now a seven, this is not an eight. So this is, Two, three, four, or three, four, five. And I can't put two or three here. So this is two, three, three, four, four, five. And that's not a, th this is a two. So this is a three and this is a four. These, two, three, four, five, and nine. And there's a five. This is bonkers. This is a pair. Two, three. Okay, this is a triple, one, two, three, this is a triple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, eight, and nine, and this is one, four, and seven. Well, that's not a one. Uh, that has not been restricted, but I've now got a lot of restriction in this column, which might give me something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So if this is a four, this could be three, seven. Well, I can't put a one in here. So the one is up here, 
which puts a one right there, which puts a one on that dot. This puzzle is crazy. How have I found this so fast? Maybe I'm getting my mind back. Can't put seven on there anymore because three, seven, and eight are in here. That trick with the sixes. Anyway, so three, seven, or eight. So seven and eight have a difference of one. So there must be a three on here and not here. Three, seven is the difference of four. So this can't be six either. This is four or five, depending on what that is. Four or five. So this is a quad, and then one must be on here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, one can't go in any of those for multiple reasons. So one, two would make this one. So I can't put a two on there. So one, seven makes this six, and one, eight makes this seven. And that's not done anything. It's meant that can't be a seven, because if this is one seven, there's no seven there. And if this is one eight, this is seven and there's no seven there. So that's interesting. I've probably done this so quickly because I've made a logical error somewhere. Because that's my shtick. That can be almost anything, can't it? So it can be... 2, which would make that 4. It could be 3, which would make that 6. It could be 4, which could make that 8. Actually, they're the only options. Okay. Of course, all those different dots need that are have a dot on them need to be small. What are these? Because that's a quad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, seven, eight, nine. That's not nine or seven. That's not seven. So seven is on one of those two with either six or eight. Now, if seven is here with six, if seven is here with six, I've still got to put eight and nine in the other one, right. And this becomes the thing I don't use up here. Right. Hang on, did, what needs to be on here? Two, three, four, three, four, five. There needs to be a three or a four on here. There must be. So three is right there. And four is down here. Four is right there. That might matter. You would think it might matter. Seven is in one of those two. Seven is in one of those two, but I've kind of already got that. Hang on. That two. Two is down here, which means two is up here. So this is two, three, four. Because two cannot go in any of those cells. Because of that two, yep, yeah, two is down here, two is not here, two is up here. This is two, three, four, those are not five. Uh, two, three, four means that it's three in, three in the middle and not three at the ends. That's a two, four on the outside. That's got to do some damage. Right? Two, three, four. So these are five, six, seven, eight, nine. 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 So this is five, seven, or nine. 
Right, because again, parity, there has to be an even on each of those, and there's two evens on that. So this is 5, 7, or 9. Six is going to go with five, and then there's eight with seven or nine. And yeah, I'm not sure. This is a triple one, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. That can't be eight. That can't be seven. The nine is in one of, well, that can't be eight either. That's a five, seven pair. That's an eight. That is not an eight. A five, seven pair. So this is five, seven or nine. I've got two, five, seven, nines in the row. This is a triple. There's a two down here. This is 259. 7 goes with 6 or 8. If I put 7 with 6, I could still do 8, 9. If I do 7 with 8, 9 goes in the middle with 5, 6. If I do 5, 6, this becomes 8, 9, which would mean this becomes 7, 8. Yeah, that's all fine. Well, that's not 3 anymore, so that's not 6 anymore. So this is 2, 4, or 4. Well, there is a 4 on there, which makes that 5. So this is 3, 8. How do you... So that's three eight. One, two, three. I've got to put a four in here. There's a four right there because it can't right, there's a four right there. So this is hang on, this five makes this two nine. Which makes this five. This is not this is seven. This is nine. This is not nine. Nine is in one of those two, and nine has to be next to eight. There's no other option. So this is a 7-9 pair, and this is a 6-8 pair, which makes this 5. And it's going to go 9-8 and 7-6. It must. And that's all from the pointing foot. This is crazy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is absolutely nuts. This is an 8 now, so this is not an 8. So this is 2, 5, or 7, and it's not 7, so it's 2 or 5. Hang on. That 5 is making that 2, which makes that 7, which makes that 5. Take 7 out of those. So this is 1, 8, which makes that 2. But more importantly, that is a difference of 7. I really like the way you get these pairs, and that gives you the difference, rather than having to figure out the difference and then getting the pairs. That's very clever. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine, which is resolved by that. This is one, two, three, and five, which is resolved by the five. The three comes back here and resolves the three, eight. That means that has to be a four, which makes that a two, which makes that a nine and that a two. The eight looks back making that one and that eight, and I've done both of the outside bands and I can't remember what the verticals are called. Anyway, there, there's terminology for it. I've done all of these outside boxes in about half an hour. That's amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, which makes that eight, which makes that nine, which makes that seven, which makes that six. Uh, this four takes four out of there. The four, more importantly, I think, makes that two and that four because that makes that three and that two. There is no four in there. 
which puts a four in the middle. I was about to say it was a useless triple, but it wasn't. That is a five. There is no five there. That eight, nine, uh, that one, seven is resolved by the seven up here. This is an eight, nine, which is not yet resolved. Let's see what I get from triples. Three, five, and eight. There is a five, eight there. So that becomes a three. That is a five. So that becomes an eight and that becomes a five. I know a lot of other solvers can just look at a grid and go, that's that and that and that. I'm not that fast. I don't think I ever will be. One, seven, and nine. Uh, that is a one. Um, and that seven makes that nine, which makes that seven. The nine looks up making that eight. And I put the central digit into the, and yes, he had ended the solution. 3157. I'm really happy with that. That was amazing. The way you could use, and I'm sorry if people think what I did trying to figure out the combos and everything, um, use the possible combos and the way if this was, I think it was if this was a three, it made this a two and I ended up with a conflict on fours because of the pointing four sixes. Those were really cool. Um, not sure what the one did. Maybe I missed it. <laughs> um, or it's there for symmetry. Setters often put a lot of things in for symmetry. Grab the most useless digit to make it symmetrical. Um, that was very cool, but hard to see. And then this trick with the sixes. Um, I think I saw that only because I've done a lot of parity puzzles recently. And therefore I knew if this was a two, I was going to run out of digits because either these would all have to be odd which would mean six odds in the box, or one of them would have to be even, which means I would have five evens in the box. Either way, that's a problem. Um, I'm not sure if that's the way you're supposed to see it, but that's the way I saw it. Very cool puzzle. Thank you, Zegres. That was a lot of fun. Now I've got to make a thumbnail for this. I'll see what I come up with. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, as always, if you want to reach out to me, particularly with puzzle um, submissions or recommendations, please do. But for anything at all, um, I look forward to hearing from you. Um, I am really, I'll, I'll mention this, I won't mention it too often. Um, at the moment, I am pre-releasing puzzles on my Patreon about once a week. Um, which are locked to patrons only. However, I will be releasing them for free at some point in the future. Those puzzles will either come out in videos or I will, um, the current plan is things that don't get released on videos will come out as a pack of probably eight to 10 puzzles um, when I've got that number free. So um, you will get the puzzles will become um, available for everyone for free at some point. So you aren't missing out by not being a Patreon of mine. But if you do want to get a sneak preview, um, it's a couple of bucks a month. But you don't have to. I will release all of that content for free. I promise. Um, anyway, thank you everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.